Distribution, Transport and Faded Pollutants Reviewed by Mina Sultan. Soil is a dynamic natural occurrence on Earth's surface from the alteration of parent materials, caused by weather agents and living organisms, and conditioned by topography. Soil is composed by a liquid and gaseous fraction, where the solid fraction is about 50% of the soil constituents in a source and sink of pollution. Two types of solid materials constitute this fraction, a mineral fraction, where clay minerals and al slash fe oxy hydroxide's relevant role in the soil pollution process. The second fraction, organic, is a main source of some macronutrients to plants, a sink of carbon, and it is actively involved in pollutant sequestration. Soil pollutants can be divided into two main groups, the organic pollutants OPS, and the inorganic pollutants IPS. An example of inorganic pollutant is potentially toxic elements PTES. Both PTES and OPS can have natural or anthropogenic origins. PTES may experience increased or decreased availability over time, due to their form and changes in physical chemical conditions in soil. The availability of OPS tends to decrease over time and is closely related to their degradation where they are decomposed into simple units or functional groups of lowest toxicity. Table 2.1 lists anthropogenic sources of several PTES from the industrial front. In soil system, PTES can occur in the soil solution under ionic, molecular, gelated, and colloidal forms, conferring them high mobility, or associated with the solid fractions. Thus, from the ready to less available PTS forms are 1. Exchangeable ions in mineral or organic particles 2. Complex or chelated to organic colloids 3. Sorbed to inorganic constituents 4. Incorporated in superorganic phases as oxy hydroxides, clay minerals, or insoluble salts and 5. Fixed in crystal lattice of the minerals OPS can occur naturally or from anthropogenic sources such as production of chemical compounds. For many of these chemicals, the environmental and health impacts are not even known. The most important factors regarding OPS toxicity are 1. Persistence 2. Solubility 3. Volatilization and the byproducts resulting from their bio-degradation. Table 2.2 summarizes the main properties that control the behavior of OPS and various soil processes that determine the fate of organic pollutants. Soil is one of the most complex environmental compartments where this complexity arises from its position on the Earth's surface. Soil identity is changing as it passes through the major transformations of a geochemical cycle by the redistribution, fractionation, and mixing of its constituents with other materials and pollutants. Figure 2.1 is a conceptual soil pollution model created using the CLEAR approach and represents the overall cycling of pollutant in the soil system. Factors that affect soil pollutants distribution, transport, and fate are physical and chemical properties of soils, soil texture, soil structure, the solid liquid and gaseous phases, pH, redox potential, cation exchange capacity, soil organic matter, clay minerals and al- Fe oxy hydroxides. The main processes that will determine the route from the source to fate of a pollutant in soil are those 1. Promoting the release of the contaminant from a specific soil matrix and 2. Those occurring between the pollutants and the soil components where interaction will allow pollutants migration or retention in soil. The release of a pollutant by transformation of the soil matrices is dependent on hydrolysis redox reactions, photodegradation, biodegradation, dissolution, and volatilization. After a pollutant has been released, its cycling will depend on adsorption, precipitation slash surface precipitation, and incorporation into biological agents. Figure 2.3 shows processes determining the transport and fate of PTES and OPS in soils. Soil pollutant transport is dependent on migration pathways, wind transport, erosion and mass wasting, and water transport. The processes involved in pollutant transport are advection, dispersion, diffusion, and colloid facilitated transport. Methodologies for modeling pollutants leaching and transport. 
Figure 2.4 shows the classification of soil pollution models according to the purpose and data approach, and typical models structure.